Hello and happy Saturday. Uh, today is March 2nd. I'm here to share one of my prompt makes and this was hosted by, let me get my notes, <clears throat> Tammy over at Lou Fur Fru Studio and it's hashtag color combo 2024 and I did the uh, triangle in orange. It was prompt number five. Triangle in orange. This was one that I had skipped over and um, I just had to wrap my brain around what I wanted to do. And once I started thinking about it, I have these little things I write up and I have a, a board next to me. I put them on and then when I think about something, I pull them down and do them. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I try to help everybody out with their um, hashtag uh, challenges. So there's that. So I was able to come up with something. And I know I could have made a tag or something simple, but um, this is what I wanted to do. So I made this little booklet. And I shared this in my last video, but I really didn't tell you what I was making it for. Um, I used Gail Augustinelli's accordion booklet uh, idea. I saw that on 41321, Use It Up Tuesday, 12 by 12 paper pad remnants. And uh, something clicked when I saw this, and I made a whole box of them. I have them in all different stages. And then I recently saw my friend Rhoda Burks making them as well. And I guess she's been making them for a while, but she has another spin on it. And I'm going to do that next. So here's my little booklet that I made. This is my orange. And it's um, upholstery fabric. I, it had butterflies on it. It actually... It's huge. I've shared it where I got it at a church sale. So it does have hummingbirds on it, but it's got butterflies and I just cut from an edge. Well, here it is right here, but I cut it from an edge. Uh, I just cut around here and then I glued that to coffee filter paper or coffee filter with a uh, permanent glue stick and then I fussy cut around it that way it would stay together I mean you could put um, fray check on there but I find that that makes it really stiff so I use that so I have a lot of this if anybody wants a piece of this um, I do have my Etsy open but only for um, uh, items like books or I can do fabric. I just don't want to make anything right now. So here's my little booklet and I use this die cut from it's Downton Abbey paper crafting ornate oval frame and there's the number there. I don't know if you can still get it. Uh, I believe this is Crafter's Companion, and I got this from a D-stash from Tina at Crafty Bean. So I got a bunch of these at a really great price. So there's that. I used that, and I did cut two and glued them together so it would be, you know, substantial. And then I just used my uh, seam binding from my scrap cabin. I put some lace on the spine here, and... I have one here that I'll show you while I was folding them like that. So that folds like that. And then I just, I always put lace or something on there. I used a lot of the green painters paper in this project which I really love because it went well with this paper pad. This paper pad is one of the ones that it has 180. It's 
this one here. And I got that from Joann's. And I believe, I didn't write it on there, but they always have these on sale. So yeah, it has 100, 180 sheets. And I want to say they give you three of each. One, two. Yeah, three of each, which is great. And I like the thin paper. This is thin paper. So you can kind of, if you're working on a project and you need three, you know, for the project, it really helps. And that did come in handy for me. Okay. All right. So I made a scoop pocket here, and I do have a die for that. Uh, but I did sew around here, which made the pocket a little bit smaller. So I'll probably put a, a tall skinny tag in there. I did line the pocket with the painter's paper, and then I die cut. Um, this is uh, Pink Fresh. Um, these are floral circles. I die cut it out uh, first and then um, glued the painter's paper to the back of the pocket. Die cut another flower out of cardstock and then glued that on top. So it's all within. It's not going to catch on the pocket. But I just wanted a little something there because I felt like I had a lot of paper there, pattern there. Here are my triangles here. I'm calling them triangles. And I know I got a glare here. Oops. Pieces are it's got like three pieces here. This is called Geometric Mask Set. And it's by Sizzix. And I'll put the numbers in the uh, description for you. But I love it. I, I wasn't going to get it, but it was at a uh, clearance rack uh, at Hobby Lobby when they got rid of their dies. And the price was great. And I'm glad I got it because I did use it. So I used it here and here. And I first glued the green painter's paper to cardstock. I cut it out and I have all my little pieces here that I can use for something else. This is just painter's paper glued to cardstock, but I love it. It's great. So I'll use this in another project. And then I cut um, Cut it out in white cardstock and set that in there and then I uh, glued another piece of um, pattern paper that was from the same paper pack on there. <clears throat> Got all my scraps here. This was the background I used for that just so you see some flowers in the background. I did that first and then I was like I really wanted to see a flower in there Where's my, there it is. So I made a pocket and I put two pieces of um, the, these are um, sheet protectors, but they're vintage, so they're clear. I just cut two pieces and then I glued my flower to the backside piece and then put another piece on and sewed it around. I did put a trim here. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm not sure what I'm going to put in the pocket yet, but I pretty much used all of the Tim Holtz wildflowers except for this one. I used uh, it's a Momenta flower set. So these are all pockets here. I kind of wished I had made this a little bit wider, but when I was doing this, I really didn't want to cover up the the background I call it trellis piece um, because it would have gave me more room to do a thumb notch I still might be able to do it because I'm finding like 
uh, it's a little hard to define that there's a pocket there. So I'm not really sure. So these are all pockets. There's a pocket in the front and a pocket in the back. It was a little challenging. The two pieces of plastic together sewing, they wanted to bunch up a little bit, but overall I'm really happy how it turned out. I've never done anything like this, and I'm, I probably will not let this out of my sight uh, unless I make another one. So there's the back side there, and then I did a, it's called a slash pocket. I have a die for this as well. I did that, and I showed how I cut the angle here on my last video. And I did go with the white um, cardstock on the back, covered it with um, lace trim. I've got a glare because I, I don't know. Let me see if I can get away without... Yeah, let me do that. <clears throat> Sorry, I've got early morning frogginess. I used this and I got that from Joann's. And I did um, do a test because I thought I wanted the green. This is just painter's paper. And then this is um, uh, scrapbook paper from the same paper pad. And I just wasn't sure what colors I wanted, but I really like the white because it brightens everything up. And <clears throat> sorry, I wanted the pocket to be the focal point, so I didn't want it to blend in with the green. It just kind of got lost. So I went with the white. And then the back side here, I didn't um, haven't decided what I wanted to do with the back. I did cut out, I might put this little guy here, um, but maybe um, mount it on a frame like this. So I don't know, we'll see. I really don't want it to be bulky and, and catch on anything, so I'll have to think about that. Or, I have a lot of flower sentiments like sayings about growing and stuff like that. So I may just stamp something and glue it to the back just to protect this from coming off. Because that really, this really grounded this. So, and I just put this underneath here. Actually, I glued this on first and I was like, uh-oh, I kind of want my seam binding to be underneath. But I was able to open it up like this and take a, my pokey tool and I was able to lift it up there just to slide that uh, ribbon underneath there so but yeah I'm pretty happy with how it turned out um, once I got something on my mind that I wanted to do and I'm glad I went with it so I really this feels really good I just have to figure out what I want to make to put in the pockets and I really want it to be defined so it might be something that sticks out a little bit with a little tab. Put something in there, make a skinny tag for there, and then I'll make something to put in the back side here. But I wanted to totally finish it and have the pockets all filled up, but um, I really wanted to show it because I've been working on it on and off. I've been organizing my rubber stamps and picking this up and putting it down and I really wanted to show. I did sew all the way around here um, before I glued the spine together and I really love that. I put the this front piece on first and the back piece on first. I was going to put the pockets, uh, sew the pockets to the back piece but I decided to put them on after. So I really like how that turned out. I'm really happy with it. It's definitely um, something I, I enjoyed doing. So it was a lot of work. It definitely was a lot of work, but I really, I really love it. Okay, I hope you got inspiration from that. And that was my, 
I lost my paper. Oh, here it is. <clears throat> that was my color combo number five, triangle and orange. And I know I could have done something simple, but that's what I wanted to do. So go check out Tammy over at Lufufu Studio. Hashtag color combo 2024. She gives you a prompt of a shape and a color. And it's really fun to uh, try to come up with something. All right. Take care. Enjoy your weekend. Bye.